Hello, my name is Jack Wallen, and this is a solid state drive, otherwise known as an SSD. You'll find drives like this on modern desktop and laptop computers, and these are typically more preferred than standard drives, which have moving parts. Why are these more preferred? Well, because they don't have moving parts, which can fail, and they produce less heat than traditional drives. They're also smaller, so they take up less space, which is crucial to laptops. Now, just because these are more reliable than traditional drives doesn't mean they're going to prevent you from accidentally deleting your files. You can still delete them, permanently even. But what do you do when that happens? Well, fortunately, there are tools that can dive into these drives and reclaim those files. And I'm going to show you how you can do that with one particular application called Disk Drill. But first, we need to talk about one particular issue that plagues these drives. The issue I'm talking about is trim. Trim doesn't stand for anything, but it is very important to solid state drives. What it does is it makes sure that unused blocks are erased and are available for the drive to use. Now, when you have trim enabled, which it is by default on most drives, it prevents you from using a tool like Disk Drill to recover files if your drive is failing. Now, this is really important. If you have a drive like this that is failing, it is crucial that you shut off the machine, remove the drive, and don't use it again. Because what you're going to have to do is make a byte-by-byte -byte copy of this drive to another drive so that a tool like Disk Drill can then look into the newly created image to find your files. First, we're going to demonstrate using Disk Drill on Windows 10. On a Windows 10 laptop, that includes a solid-state drive. As soon as you open up Disk Drill, you'll see your hard disk listed. You want to select that and then make sure that all file recovery methods is selected from the dropdown. Once you do that, click Search for Lost Data and Disk Drill will begin its search. Now, fairly quickly, Disk Drill should start finding some files. It's going to list them out in filters, documents, archives, auto, audio, video, pictures. Now, it is very important that you allow Disk Drill to complete its search, because if you don't, you might not find as consistent a recovery as you would otherwise. You can click Review Found Items as it searches, but do not click Stop Scanning. Now, depending on how large this drive is, it could take some time for this scan to complete. So step away from the computer, Go do something else and come back later, and you should find that Distril has discovered your lost data. You'll see that Distril has listed out what it has found. You can see under existing files, found files, reconstructed, reconstructed label. And over here, you can filter the results. Let's say, for example, we're looking for pictures and pictures only. We click pictures and it will filter out everything but pictures. Now we can expand this to start looking for the files that we're hoping Disk Drill has recovered. There's a folder that says Pictures. BMP files, that might not be what we're looking for. There's more pictures, JPEGs. There we go. There's our JPEGs that Disk Drill has recovered. Now we're going to select all of these files. Once you've selected all of the files that you want Disk Drill to recover, you click the Recover button. What's going to happen is it's going to pop up and it's going to ask you where you want the recovered files to be saved. Now, you can save these on the internal drive, but you might want to consider saving them to an external drive, such as an SD card or something, just in case, especially if these files are incredibly important. But for now, we're going to save them in the Documents folder. Click OK, and the recovery will begin and finish. We are now going to demonstrate using Mac OS. 
The process is mostly similar. There are some differences. One of the first differences you will experience is that disk drill requires full disk access on an SSD in Mac OS. So when you try to recover, you're going to see a pop-up. And that pop-up is going to request that you give full access to disk drill. You must do this in order to continue. Once you've given full disk access, you will see your hard drive listed. You want to select that and then click Recover. Disk Drill will then begin looking for files. Now, because you've given it full disk access, you're going to have to enter your user password in order for Disk Drill to continue. There we go. Disk Drill will now begin the process of recovering files. As you can see, Distril is pretty quick on, the, on Mac OS. And as soon as it starts to see files, it's going to show them. As you can see, it's already found one deleted file. Now, again, just like in Windows 10, you must allow this session to complete if you want to successfully recover your files. All right. so. We've let this drill continue, and it has found the deleted file we're looking for. Now, before we actually hit Recover, what we want to do is in the Recover To dropdown, we want to select where we want the files to be recovered to. I have selected the Downloads folder. Again, you might want to recover them to an external drive or an SSD card. So what we do is we expand the entries right here. We are looking for this plist file. We select the file in question, and then we click Recover, and Distril will then recover it to the directory selected in the Recover To dropdown. We're going to get a warning because it's going to be on the same location. That is why sometimes it's important that you recover them to an external drive. And there we go. Recovered one file of one with zero errors. Disk Drill has successfully recovered the file that you accidentally deleted.